hello friends welcome to vfx pipeline channel and in this video we will see one of the interesting project where we will connect free ipa and django together to make one and if you don't know what is free ipa you can check it out my recent videos which i just uploaded like 12 seconds ago and uh, there is one video i uploaded where i already explained how you can set up the free ipa server also you can check it out some other cool videos which i already uploaded in the past and if you haven't subscribed my channel please guys subscribe this will appreciate me to create all these useful videos for you okay so let's start in this video what i'm going to do i will create a django project from scratch and uh, i will install whatever library is required to run that project and uh, free ipa we already installed so no need to configure in this video you can always uh, refer back to the old uh, videos which i already created so yeah there is so much fun let's start so first of all uh, one thing i want to mention i just copy one wheel file and if you don't know what is python wheel file it's it's a kind of a uh, installer file for python ldap and this is required for our project and uh, basically if you are using linux then you no need to install this file because uh, in linux uh, i don't know I, I i never try in linux right now but maybe if if there is any issue in linux you can always use this same wheel file to install and how you can you install wheel file i will show you in this video right now so first uh, i just created a django free ipa project and uh, later after this video i will put it inside my github repository so you can refer back the same project okay and by the time when you're watching this video you can find the link in the description of this video okay let's just right click here and uh, open command window here and uh, let me open my command window in the side so guys first thing i always prefer to work in python virtual environments this give me flexibilities of uh, installing packages without conflicting with my other projects so let's just create a virtual environment first and if you don't know what is virtual environment i already created a detailed video only on that topic that how you can install use virtual environment in python so you can just go back and find out that video all right so let's just start here first start with python okay and uh, then after that you put one space dash m and then put venv and the name of the virtual environment that will be venv hit enter what this will do it will create a work venv folder in your same directory and once everything is done now it will be like that now after that you go to this, this folder a venv folder and there you go to a scripts folder and there you will see activate dot bat so just select drag and drop in your command prompt and hit enter okay something goes wrong here okay so once you hit enter you will see venv in the brackets that means you are in your virtual environment right now okay so let's just go back to this root directory so the first thing is what we want to install is django so to install django what you have to do is pip install django And it will download the latest version at this time when I'm creating this video 2.2.3 is the latest version of Django so I'm just using the latest version no issue because uh, we will not go further with Django I, mean, I will create a separate series only dedicated to Django project how you can start with Django and explain all about Django but this is more centric to the connection of free ipa and django so the idea is we will take all the users from free ipa and allow django to log in with those user accounts so django is already installed another library that we want is python ldap so let's just install that also but that we will install through this wheel so for that you can install pip install and your python and hit tab to auto complete so that complete file name that you have to put here and hit enter okay 
now you already hit enter and after that you're done now another library that we want to use here is django auth ldap and that is the uh, i mean i can show you if uh, okay, yes Django auth LDAP is actually this one. So we will install this Django auth LDAP and we will use this. So you can copy this at the time when I'm creating this video, Django auth LDAP version 2. So let's just go and install this. Hit paste. Okay, maybe just type that. Pip install Django. okay so looks like all the dependencies and everything is installed that's it the installation part is done let's just uh, clear screen and let's just close this window for now uh, no need uh, first we just need to create a Django project also we just need to start a Django project so for that what I will do is uh, I can use uh, Django and once you hit django admin and uh, after you install django it will automatically will be in your environment so you can just type django admin and you will see there are many commands here so here you see there are commands where we will see the our the, the command that we will use is right now will be the start app uh, start project first we will start a start project okay so just use django admin and start project hit enter and once you put that then it will ask you if there are few more things that you want to use is you need to provide the name and uh, for your project so let's just say start project and the name will be ldap uh, free ipa uh, that's it just put that name so as you can see here there is you can see that free ipa folder is generated here and if you go inside there are few files generated here and these files are one is uh, free ipa and one is manage.py so if you go inside free ipa you will see there are init file settings.py urls and whci so settings.py is the file which we will edit this and after that we will see the result in our main okay so now uh, all we need to do is let's just go and change the directory to this so maybe uh, i will open uh, it just it should be at this level it should be at this level okay so yeah now it looks like fine okay so now what we have to do is we need to we need to run our server to see that is everything is fine or not so same command you can use and now you can use django run server okay so or maybe just you can use python manage.py because now we will use this manage.py to start our server and uh, run server hit enter and by default it will start on port 8000 so port 8000 is the one where you actually uh, I mean your website will be hosted so let's just uh, enter that uh, what IP address 127.0.0.1 and uh, oh sorry I, I did okay so once you type this address and you will see that your Django website is started already okay so here it is and I just when you reload you will see that all your get request you can see in this window the command line window so with that I mean your uh, Django installation is successfully done no issue now the thing is why we install this library is we have uh, uh, a IPA setup I will show you that uh, 
this one so this is our ipa and we have users here and these users we want to add here inside admin so when you go to the admin django by default give you very awesome admin interface and in that interface if you want to go inside one option is you can create a super user here and another option is uh, you can put uh, some extra uh, authentication backend so you can add uh, your active directory you can add uh, other remote users backend so let's just see uh, what what options that we will have so here you can see we have three users and uh, any of these three if they try to log in they should able to log in in, in our django website that's that's what our goal in this video okay so uh, i mean there is one more thing that we want to do here first let me just uh, our server is running here no problem let's just start another shell here and open command window and uh, let's just take our same environment also here which is our activate.batch and uh, hit enter so now we are in a virtual environment let's just keep this shell open because here our server is running so don't change anything here and here we will do some other commands here because right now what you see here if you go to your main project folder there is uh, there is one db.sqlite file but we need to do something which is uh, we need to do make migrations okay so for that you can use python manage.py make migrations and after that you need to run migrate okay so this part is actually important first make sure you follow this also and right now by default uh, the django database is sqlite database and later on if you want you can change it to sql also no issue that actually completely related to the django site actually so that's nothing related to this video so i'm not cover that part what what is the use of other things inside there so that that is the one which we already done and now let's just um, try login with our one of the user from here uh, for example let's just take uh, rajiv and just try login with rajiv here okay let's just go here and uh, let's just try login and uh, this request will be go to this hopefully uh, it's it's uh, it's searching the name inside the database in this SQLite file and if it is fine then it will allow you to log in and if not then it will not so again slow let's just run it again okay yes so hey you can see that please enter correct username and password so that's that's the main reason because the username and password is incorrect so you can't log in with that okay so one thing is this let me just uh, close this server i think there is some issue with that i just close this and the server is stopped uh we have another shell open let's just go there python manage.py run server okay and here you can see system check identified no issues and still loading let's just see the main site there is some issue with my internet i think uh, otherwise it's, it's not going like this uh, let's just run this all right so guys there is some issue here uh, just uh, I'm leaving this video here right now I will fix this issue uh, and after that I will cover in my next video so just follow with me on my next video thank you guys